Hey makers, this is Dravin and I welcome you all to my Power BI Beginner Step by Step Tutorial Series. You are watching 14th episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can build mobile friendly report for the Power BI. Yes, so far whatever report that we have built it will work for the test of you. But what if, if you want to build a similar report for the mobile layout? At that time, what are the things you need to consider in your mind? Let's have a quick look around that practically with the example. But before for that if you haven't followed me in my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so here i am on my machine and this is the power bi report which we have started from our previous sessions now i want to create the mobile friendly report this for this particular version so what are the configuration i need to do let's have a quick look around that so to build the mobile friendly report you simply need to click on view menu from here and now over here, there is an option called mobile layout. When you open the mobile layout, basically it will open up this kind of interface for you. Now, for mobile layout, you just need to, you can design the interface the way you want. Now, what happened here is, here it is showing you the uh, preview screen for your mobile. And over here, it is showing you all the visualization which are available for this particular page. And now, over here, there is one more option available called auto create. Let's say when you do click on auto create, it automatically add all the controls or the visualization that you have on that page or into this particular mobile screen over here and just arrange it into this particular fashion like this, right? If you do not do the auto create uh, and remove all the visualization, it will just make it by default the way you want. Right? Now over here, we just need to do a couple of configuration. Now let's say for an example, sometimes what happen here is for larger screen, we are having some visualization, which we really don't want the user should use into their mobile version. So maybe you can just skip this out. But whichever visualization you think you need for your mobile layout, you just need to start dragging from here and drop over here. So let's say for an example, here on the top, I need this kind of slicer. So I'm just adding this slicer over here like this way. Okay. And it is just adding that slicer for me like this. Okay. Now let's say after that, I need one more slicer for this year, quarter and month. So just drag it out over here and just make the adjustment depending on your need. Okay. So I'm just making this uh, big over here and it is just looking like this over here. So I'm just making like this. And after that, maybe I just need to have this kind of chart. So I'll just make this kind of chart representation and it just looks like this. So it is just showing me like this. And let's say I need this gauge over here. So I'm just making this gauge a little bit bigger like this. So I'm just dragging and dropping like this. So it's a very simple process. It's not like something uh, which is rocket science or something which is very advanced that you need to learn. It's very basic, okay? And let's say for an example, uh, I need this matrix as well. So I'm just dragging this matrix and I'm just arranging it over here like this as well, okay? Let's say this bookmark navigator is something I really don't want, so I'm not keeping it over here. And this is how my final layout is looking like, okay? Apart from that, uh, over here, you can just see if you have hidden any uh, thing from your uh, mobile layout and also you just filter out the things from here. All right. So here and here I am. I'm ready with the mobile version of the this particular page. OK, now remember one thing, this mobile capability that you have seen over here on my screen, it is specifically available uh, for that particular page. So let's say here I am on my page number five. So this page number five, I have created this mobile layout. Similar way in your report page, if you are having more page, you need to create the separate mobile layout for it for each particular page over there. Okay. Also, one more important thing. Sometimes, you know, specifically for the mobile design, like let's say for an example, this is my chart I have over here. And currently I have this kind of title over here, right? Let's say for an example, if you just wanted to make any specific formatting for that visualization for the mobile layout, like you don't need this, this big of font. Okay. Then maybe you can just uh, select the appropriate option from here and change the formatting according to that. So, here there is a title property, right? And the font is 
nine over here okay let's say for mobile layout you just wanted to make it big uh, bold so i'm just making it bold over here and maybe even if you just wanted to do the smaller font you can just select it from here and basically it will just showing you that uh, thing over here so these styles are basically only apply for the mobile interface not for your desktop interface so that is something also you can change it out if you want for your layout okay like let's say over here there is a logo right so instead of this maybe if you just need drop down capability you can just make it like drop down over here like this as well right because in mobile if you are not comfortable with that you can just simply have it like that okay or let's say over here you are having this kind of uh, slicer selection for year right so instead of that you if you need this kind of vertical list you can just make it like this okay so this is how you can simply change out few formatting options for your mobile uh, representation as well over here right so it's pretty much simple easy and straightforward to build up the mobile friendly report now one more thing like like similar way let me just go to the page number 4 on page number 4 i just have one visualization so you can simply drag it out and just make it like this okay so this is how for each page you can perform the operation and build up the mobile friendly report for yourself now if you just want to come out from your mobile layout just uh, just click on again and this is basically opening the default layout which is on the desktop base over here right so this is how simply the mobile friendly report works in the world of power bi isn't this easy cool and uh, very easy to implement just tell me in the comment section how you feel about mobile friendly report and again one more important thing if you want to open this mobile friendly report when end user want to uh, see the analytics at the time they need to use power bi application so this report will be opened into power bi mobile application and it will show the which your mobile layout that you have presented for it now the question come up into our mind that okay what if i do not design any mobile friend uh, mobile layout over here so if you do not uh, uh, create any mobile layout in that case the same layout like whatever your desktop layout is same layout will be open into your mobile devices as well so probably i mean the exact same version you will be able to see it over here you cannot be able to see the separate mobile layout for it this is useful when you configure it it is dedicatedly for the mobile so whenever you open mobile automatically it pick up that from there all right so that's it for about today's episode in next episode we are going to talk about how we can publish the report and how we can create the workspace and all those things and you know um, we will move forward for the next class onwards all right so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this episode If you are for the very first time to my channel make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for any premium or personalized training from me uh, check out our website for latest training information with that note this is Ravin signing off see you in the next episode with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye